welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute button bouquet using all items from Walmart. Of course, you can also get these supplies at Dollar Tree, but Walmart just happened to be where I was earlier today, so that's why I got it there. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need some buttons. Now, I got this pack of buttons here. Whoa, I'm dropping them. <laughs> Ric Flair, whoa. I got these buttons from, well, and I just dropped that one. I don't care. Anyway, I got these from Walmart. I think it was like $5 and something um, for this pack. And you get a whole lot of them. And what I like about these is they're all different sizes. And that's what we're going to need in this craft. Buttons of different sizes. And I also got this wire. Now, this wire also came from Walmart. This is 20 gauge copper wire. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. This is green. Now, like I said, they got a bunch of different colors, but what I was interested in was the gauge here, okay? Because your regular floral wires is pretty flimsy, and I was wanting something a little bit more substantial for this craft, okay? To be able to really bend it and move it around and to hold the buttons up. Because depending on the buttons that you use, you know, they can get pretty heavy. So that's why I chose this wire. Next thing you're going to need, a salt and pepper shaker. You can use whichever one that you want to use, but, but let's talk about this for a second. Take a look at the lid. Now you see this. You see how the holes are in this lid? They're kind of staggered. Now I notice some of them have like a handful of holes like this. If you buy them in a set, this is what I'm talking about. If you buy them in a set, some of them will have a handful of holes in one of them and then the other one will only have two or three holes. Um, some of them that look like little mason jars are actually in the shape of an S and a P. So you want you want to look at that. Dollar Tree has these as well that have a bunch of holes in them. Like I said, I got these at Walmart. I think they were $1.49, something like that, a piece. And I got three. Okay, something odd just happened. I had to cut the film. But um, so you need that. Now, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to clean them really, really well with some rubbing alcohol, and then I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to spray paint them with this Rust-Oleum 2 times paint and primer, 2 times ultra coverage paint and primer. It's a semi-gloss paint in white. So, I'm going to set that over to the side, and we're going to focus on making our little flowers first, and then we'll go back and paint those and put it all together. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, do I want to open this? Yeah, because then I can, um, I'll just put it in a uh, Ziploc bag. Owie, I stuck myself. I stuck myself today. Let him go. All right. It's much easier to work with, I think, taking it out of the packaging. But anyway, let's find the end of our wire here. Let's use this end straighten this out a little bit and I'm just gonna stick that on that paint bottle all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the wire and I'm gonna measure it kind of from the bottom here just so that you you know you can get an idea of how long to cut it go from the bottom and then see about how tall that you want your little flower to be and then we're gonna add about an inch to that because we're gonna be twisting the wire and that's gonna take up some space so I'm just going to kind of bend that in half and then come back down and then I'm going to cut it right here. Okay, so now we're going to get our buttons. Now you can use however many buttons you want to use. I like to use three buttons on mine and we're going to layer them. So you're going to need a little button, one that's a little bit bigger and then a lot bigger than that. Okay, if I'm making any sense here, they need to be sort of like um, graduated sizes. So I'm going to take this yellow one. I think that's cute. And then let's see if we can find one. How about this red one? See, that red one will fit down in there. And then let's do, let's do this little green one right here. Okay. So you're going to start with the smallest one first. Okay. Start with the smallest one. And you want the side of the button that you want facing you to be up at the top here. And then you're just going to slide it down. And it just pops right into place, like so. Okay, so now let's separate this. And now you're going to pick your middle button. Once again, the side that you want facing out, you want that to be on top. And then we're just going to feed the wire down in there like so. And pull that. 
and it just snaps right into place. It's pretty satisfying how these snap into place. <laughs> and then we're going to use the third one, and you can use more than three if you want to. I just like using three. And then feed the wire in there, and plop, like so. And there's your little flower. So I want to hold the flower with my left hand, and let's get our wire right over here. And I'm going to hold it as close as I can to the button. And then I'm just going to twist. Start twisting the button and hold on to your wire really, really tightly because you want your twist to be as uniform as possible. I mean, you know, they don't have to be perfect at all, but you know, I'm just trying to avoid lumps and stuff like that. But anyway, now I got it started. Just gonna hold on here and twist, twist, twist until I get all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so I've gotten all the way down to the bottom here. If you can see, I, I kinda got it as uniform as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. And now there is your flower. So you just wanna take the head of it and just bend it like that so that you can see it from the front. And that's that. But anyway, what you're eventually gonna wind up doing is sticking these down, excuse me, in the holes right here on top of the lid but because these can be a little bit heavy and I don't know what type of you know shakers that you're going to be using you might want to put something inside of these um you know aquarium rocks you can put sand you know gravel I'll take this label off here in a minute because it ain't wanting to come off too easily um but anyway what I have here is just a bag of these little white rocks that came from Dollar Tree but you use whatever you like. And that also is going to give something for your flowers to kind of like, you know, go down in and kind of hold them and stop them, you know, from twisting back and forth like that. So, you know. And it's awful windy here because we're getting ready to have a storm. We're getting ready to have a storm. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put the rocks in here <laughs> just in case the wind blows, it won't blow them over, you know. All right. And then you just snap the lid back on like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other two, and I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them. While the paint's drying, I want to make more flowers. I'll be right back. Fluff, I see your babies. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. I see your babies, Fluff. Look, you're, you're laying on the buttons. You're, you're laying on my buttons. I know. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do this. All right. So we're back from the cat aftermath. <laughs> anyway, this is one of the uh, salt and pepper shakers. The paint is dry. So now what we're going to do is let's decorate it up a little bit with some rickrack. I remember when I was little, um, I would get into my mom and grandma's rickrack and I would make a mess with it. I love it. I've loved it ever since then. And I got it in these bright colors also from Walmart. Of course, it comes in all different colors, but um, I thought the red, purple, and yellow were really bright, and I thought that they would look good, you know, with what we're trying to do here. If you hear kittens in the background, I'm sorry. The craft room is a closed-off safe space, and so that is where the kittens are, okay? <laughs> They're in here with me. So let's take the tape off the end. Where's my scissors? My good scissors. I think I left them in the living room because I'm working on some crochet projects and I don't feel like getting up and going and getting them. So <laughs> they're just going to have to stay in there for a little bit. Walkie dokie. Let us. There we go. There we go. But anyway, let me, t let me, let me talk about kittens just for a second. You know how negative some people can be online. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Fluff, she is a, a Berman. And anyway, she has a problem where I can't put her under anesthesia, so I can't get her fixed. And um, well, the kids have left the door open, and she got outside. And of course, she did what cats do, and now we have some kittens. There's a little orange and white one, a black one, and a white one. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And y'all know my heart is with the little black kittens. I just love black kittens. Anyway, let's tack that down. All right. Let's see. Did I just scuff that? No. Let's go with something on it. All right. So, there it is with our rickrack on there. And I think I'm going to do another color. You know what? Let's do some yellow. Let's do some yellow. So let's put that right there. 
<laughs> and I'm like, it'll be okay. You know, she could stay here in the craft room with me. No problem. And then here I go trying to film. And she's like, hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. Boink. All right. Let's get that out of the way. Let's put some glue down here. Now, this project here, I've been thinking it would be so cute to do, like, if, you know, there's a handful of kids and they want to do something for grandma or, you know, something for mom. And each one of the kids could make, you know, one or two flowers and then they all put their flowers in the little container. I just thought that would be really cute. But, yeah, look, I really like how bright that is. So, now, let's do some purple up on the top here and then we'll put in the flowers. All right, so I've got the purple glued on and now... Let's put in our flowers. So let's see about how tall this is going to be. I made all of them pretty long. So, you know, I can trim some off the bottom to make them, you know, whatever height I want. Let's see. Let's make that just a little bit shorter. Put that down in there. There we go. Oh, I got glue on my finger. Looky there. All right. And then you just trim it off, you know, however, I'm going to go ahead and bend that forward. There we go. It's going to be cute when I'm done, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to finish, there's one. I'm just going to finish working on these and getting them all put down in there. Like I said, I made three, um, but my hands are hurting. And I don't have all of the button flowers made. So, um... I'm just going to put this on a shelf here in the craft room because, you know, they're all bright colored and happy. And why are you not going in there? You're being a jerk. There we go. Nope. You know what? I think I have a knot in the wire. We'll just cut it off. <laughs> all right. So now you can go up here. <laughs> there we are. So anyway, jewelry time. Check out that ring. I love this ring and the bracelet. Look, they're all matchy matchy. <laughs> <laughs> they cover paparazzi. They're only five bucks each. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, if you look in the description box, you click on the link that says paparazzi and then click on the link that says shop. It takes you to all of the pretty jewelry that I have available. So treat yourself. <laughs> so, all right, let's continue with these flowers and I'll be back. All right, y'all, there it is. It is all finished, and I'm really happy with these. I'm happy with how bright they are, how cheerful, and, yep, yeah, I think they're going to look cute sitting here on my shelf in the craft room. So, anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!